Greetings, everyone. Thanks again, once again, for tuning in to Porch Talk. It's me, your girl, and I'm here to bring you the 411 and the foolishness. And look for very soon. The plan is for Miss Fifi the plug to come on back and record, and we're going to bring you some more information. So much that's been going on, I can't cover it all by myself. And you know, when me and her get together, it's going down. We're going to inform you, we're going to keep you entertained, that's for sure. Kiki Wyatt is a powerhouse when it comes to her vocals. Anybody that's a fan knows she can sing her behind off. She's the one that you want to get. You're looking for a singer and you got some cash, she's the one you want to hire. It is her 37th birthday today. Happy birthday, Kiki Wyatt, today on Sunday. Kiki has been through so much. She had a child that was diagnosed with cancer. Her husband divorced her and all this kind of different stuff. She's been through a lot. She's in a new relationship. She has a lot on her plate. But thank God she lived to see another year. So happy birthday, Kiki. B. Simone. I don't know if you guys know about her. She's a comedian. She can be found on Instagram. She's the one, hey, baby girl. You know, she talks like that. And I think that's the new thing that people are doing. They, they're imitating B. Simone. Whatever. She has made appearances on Wild and Out. And she has a show coming out. She's looking for love. She's looking for a boyfriend. And it's going to be on Zeus Network. So make sure you check it out for her. It's called B. Simone, You're My Boyfriend. So check it out. George Foreman, a former boxer, he has a daughter that has just recently passed away at the age of 42. Imagine that. That's a very young to pass. She was found in her Texas home by a relative and the reason behind her death is unknown as of yet. So we're going to keep them up in our prayers and well wishes and condolences and lift them up in love. Life Jennings, y'all. Life, life. <laughs> I don't know why son that ain't got shit to do with him but anywho it, it was a movie if y'all know Life Jenny is, is a singer he was very popular when I was like probably in high school or coming out of high school or something like that he has made an appearance on Love and Hip Hop you know that's where everybody goes when their career fizzles out or they just need a little revamp or they need to be discovered whatever so he's got a new album dropping out and it's got 21 songs of which he claims is fire. I'm going to be honest with you. That's wonderful. Number one, let me say that. I've never really been a Life Jennings fan. Probably because I just never gave him a full chance. So I will say that. It's not a knock against him. It's just, you know, must be nice. You know, um, yeah. But... 21 songs that's two albums worth of music he could have split that up but hey if they're fire go fucking for it you know i'm wishing him the best and that's still a good thing i mean we need new music and good music please because a lot of this shit is some bullshit thank you life jennings if the shit really is fire as you say hopefully you can burn down the rest of this bullshit with that anywho so donald trump <laughs> i'm gonna tell you something about this donald I'm sure you, just like I, is over it. Of course, his little bitty fingers got busy again on the fucking Twitter. And he tweets, More people are working today in the United States, 158 million, than at any time in our country's history. This is a big deal. Despite the most hostile and corrupt media in the history of American politics, the Trump administration has accomplished more in its two years than any other administration. Judges, biggest tax and regulation cuts, VA choice, best economy, lowest unemployment, and much more. Okay, the United States of America is full of bullshit. And you're the biggest part of the bullshit. You're like... You know when you have a boil and it's full of pus, he's like the core of the shit. It's the shit that needs to get plucked out. Like you can push out all the pus, but you gotta get that core out. That's this motherfucker right here. Here's the thing. <laughs> corrupt media and hostile? Hmm. What's more corrupt than your administration that backs you? What's more hostile than your followers that got you in the fucking office? Um, I don't think media is the problem, sir. Again, I think it's just you and your followers and just, you're terrible. And we're wondering when the fuck you're going to go away. Hopefully next year everyone makes America great again and votes better. Because you suck. <laughs> you have done nothing but bring a dark cloud of hatred and confusion upon this country, sir. And I don't think the media is corrupt and bullshit. Well, they are on some bullshit, too. There's definitely propaganda and fluff 
and some misleading there. But when it comes to you, sir, all the shit, whatever they say you did, you did that shit. In the words of Canaan from Power. FUBU is making a comeback, y'all. Y'all remember FUBU for us, by us? LL Cool J was the face of that. It's making a comeback. I, I had a couple things FUBU, and FUBU was the thing back in the day. Um, it seems like it's a lot of stuff from the 90s trying to come back. But what they say is the world always repeats itself. It goes in a circle. Nothing is new under the sun and things of that nature. And it seems like that's happening. And I think just really because people are tired of the bullshit that's going on now. So they just want to bring it back to a time where it was just peace. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. And it makes good sense. Thanks again once again for tuning in to Porch Talk. I'm going to catch y'all next time. Make sure you tune into the next video because there's more information and foolishness from where that came from. Bye. Make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porch Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right. You'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.